if you can show me that you actually are a great farmer and you have one year until winter is coming and you have to grow stuff in a field and you have to work together with your other siblings to, to make things grow, then you actually, to get the most products out of this time, you will get my life. Right? It is, no? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it must be art, actually. <laughs> so unfortunately, you didn't have a graphic artist of last time, so it is a bit rough on the edges. The gameplay is as follows. It is played on a board, which is represented here by the square in the middle, there you see. And it, it plays in round, and when it sees the plant plants on this plot. And the idea is that you get random seeds, but one of them only will in the end count towards you. So you're an apple person, and in the end you want to have as many apples on these fields as possible. And there are some rules attached to well, how an apple can grow. An apple tree has to stand aside from other apple trees because you know they shape each other and they live long. And so the trick is that you get a random amount of seeds. And you also get a random fruit that you're aiming for. And every round, you plant something, and then you have to pass on the seed because it's a communal thing. But in the end, you actually want to win that game. And the main strategy here is actually to try to block your opponents from getting points. Here, you're obviously in quite an advanced game. They have a few things. So in the end, it gets a bit more heated up. and then. In the end, when the whole plane is filled, we got to count the points, and the winner get three points, and then we get one for the second and the third. And then we play three times, we play three seasons, spring, summer, and autumn, and in the end, whoever is in the lead will win the ball, basically. And that's the game. Thank you very much.